Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger and today I'm going to show you a very quick way to get a million rep in just about 15 minutes in Need for Speed Heat. Let's go! All right, real quickly, just before we get into the video, I want to mention if you're looking for a level 50 crew to get your Ferrari FXX Evo and you want to get your achievement, there are multiple crews who are recruiting for new players that are level 50 who are in our Discord. There's a channel called Need for Speed Crews and there's multiple crews there that are looking for new members on every single platform. So join the Discord, look in that channel and send those guys DMs and try to get on their crews. There's a link to the Discord in the description down below. All right, there are multiple ways to do this, but here are the two ways that I find to be the easiest due to the location of the races, the safe houses, and the police spawns. The first way is my favorite because it is less likely that you will run into cops at the end of the loop, and it might be a tad faster. However, you don't gain as much rep as the second method. You'll start from Fort Callahan safe house and you're going to drive to Discovery B. This race ends at Discovery C, but in order to get a million rep, you're going to need to race this twice. So when you finish the race, make sure you immediately restart it. If you're on Xbox, you press Y. If you're on PlayStation, you press Triangle and you're going to race it again. You will do that exact same thing with Discovery C. And what's nice about this is the start of Discovery C is right at the end of Discovery B. So you shouldn't have any problems starting it quickly and without cops. Again, when you do Discovery C, you're going to restart the race exactly when you finish. So, so far you will have done Discovery B twice and you're going to do Discovery C twice. And when you finish Discovery C for the second time, you will start Discovery A, which is right there at the end of Discovery C. This will be your last race of the night. Discovery A will push you to a million rep and end you very close to the safe house that you started at, which is Fort Callahan. Now keep in mind that I have some bonuses that allow me to earn more rep than a low level player which means you may not get over a million unless you're already in a level 50 crew. Also, these races are unlocked at rep level 45, so this is a great loop to do when you're trying to get to level 50. So just to summarize, here is the route you wanna take. Discovery B, two times. Discovery C, two times. Discovery A, once. And then you're gonna to return to that garage, like I said, in Fort Callahan. Now this next method takes a little bit longer, but can still be completed in around 15 minutes, and it will reward you with about 1.1 million rep, as long as you have a level 50 crew bonus. Again, if you don't, it'll be closer to 1 million. You're gonna start from that same Fort Callahan safe house and drive to the race called Spirit of Oz. You're gonna complete Spirit of Oz and then restart it just like you did for the previous method. However, this time, once the race restarts, you're actually just gonna quit the race and not do it twice. When you quit the race, you're gonna drive straight to Discovery B, which is not too far down the road. You will race Discovery B, then you're gonna race Discovery C, and then you're gonna race Discovery A. And then lastly, you're gonna race Discovery B one more time. Now Discovery A ends right at Discovery B. So this loop is very easy to complete. This is, again, five races in total, and Discovery B will dump you right outside of a safe house. You need to be careful at the end of this because there is a cop that likes to spawn right at the end of Discovery B when you're Heat 5. I wasn't careful, so in this clip you're going to notice that I started a chase at the worst possible time when I was supposed to be going back to a garage. So as you're finishing up Discovery B for the last time, keep an eye on your minimap. If you see the cop there, just slow down, let him pass, and then go behind him, and you can get to the safe house very easily that's located there in Mendoza Keys. This method should get you around 1.1 million rep in about the same amount of time. Now, I timed myself for the first method. It actually took me 15 minutes and 34 seconds, and that is from leaving the garage at Fort Callahan to entering the garage at Fort Callahan. And the second method took me 15 minutes and 47 seconds, but that is actually when I should have entered the garage at the end, but I actually was in a chase, so I had to lose the police in order to get to a garage, which ends up 
pushing that method out a little bit further. So both of these methods are doable in 15 minutes, especially if you can drive faster than I was driving. A more skilled player can obviously complete this a little bit faster if you have less skill it may take you 16 or 17 minutes to do this. These are proven ways to get a million rep in about 15 minutes. This is a very, very good way to grind rep when you're on your way to level 50. If you'd like to use the build that I've got in the background gameplay, there's a link to the build video in the description down below. Also keep in mind that if you're grinding for rep because you're a lower level player, these races may not be rewarding you with the full amounts or they might not be unlocked at all. I'm working on a guide like this for players who are at least rep 25 so that I can help you with your rep grind. So keep an eye out for that video, hopefully coming soon. All right, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to all the militia subs. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.